Hello everybody! This is Training Gamer back to do, well, something that you all want, well, a lot of people wanted me to do, the Dinosaur King tier list. And this will be for the arcade game, not the TCG. So just, just want to get that out there before I start this. And the way I decided to do this is to categorize each dinosaur with, in their respective elements. So in this video, we're going to go through all the fire dinosaurs. So this will be all the normals, alphas, armors, supers, any of the fire dinosaurs in the game. And I do realize that there are different battle types for the, each dinosaur. So for example, you have T-Rex, you have attack type, counter type, hunter type. Yeah, I'll be taking all those into account. So it'll just be one T-Rex. And I'll take all their battle types into account. And yeah, I will be going through a couple of my notes as well. So, because, you know, it's, it's a lot of stats and they don't actually reveal the, the actual attack stats of all these dinosaurs. I mean, some of them, you know, some of them are actually on the card, but, you know. Then there's others that are quite rogue. And I should point out that before I start this, that this is basically my opinion. This is my opinion. This is not cold hard fact. You know, this is just what I think, what I've seen, what I've seen with them. This is just my opinion. Okay? So, yeah, you don't, if there's something you don't agree with, you know, feel free to make your own tier list. You know, I'm, I'm eager to see everyone's opinions. Right, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I will, tier, I will rank these based on their strength, which is basically their HP, their technique, their attack power, their attack, uh, crit attack power, and their versatility, and their battle types. So that's what I'll be taking into account. So up first, we have an Albertosaurus. Okay, so it has a heroic type variant, which is okay. Attack type, which I think is pretty really good. And tie recovery attack, which can be used, which can be synergized quite well with tie base moves. Um, Albertosaurus, where should I put you? I'm going to put it in C for now. I'm going to put it in C. Like, I think it's not the worst, it's not the worst 1200 strength fire dinosaur, but I think it's, but it is 1200 strength at the end of the day. So it's not amazing. It's not like T-Rex standard, but it does, does have the versatility and you can combo it with moves like burning dash and stuff. So I think Albertosaurus is pretty decent. Uh, Alio Ramus. Again, Alio Ramus has good synergy with Magma Blaster because it has a counter type variant and it has a tie type variant. I mean, the tie type, you probably want to use the counter type variant because, it's, you know, again, it's crit is rock and it synergizes quite well with Magma Blaster. And because and it has really high, well, it has pretty much the highest technique out of all the fire dinosaurs, with the exception of awakened dinosaurs, but that's only when they awaken. But. You know, Alio Ramus does have the highest technique out of all the fire dinosaurs. So I'm, I'm going to put it... I'm going to put it on par... I think it's on par with Al uh, Albertosaurus. Okay, now for the interesting one. Sorofagonax. Um, okay, Sorofagonax has to go in A tier. Like, in terms of, like, normal fire dinosaurs, you could argue it's the best one. Like, in terms of normal fire dinosaurs, you could argue it is the best n one in the game. It has the best attack out of all the fire dinosaurs i mean it has really high attack um the only thing that lets it down is this technique i mean it's still respectable for a gold dinosaur at 400 but you know it, it does limit what you can use so flare moves like flare sword heat eruption volcano burst not the best moves to use on it so it does lack a bit of versatility in that aspect but overall for what it does the fact that it's more Pure, at pure attack dinosaur, and its moves are quite balanced. Even though its crit does a crap ton of damage, I'd probably put Sorofagonax in high A. But you know, if it was in, if it was the English, if we was just taking the English dinosaurs into account, it'd be S tier. It'd be straight up S tier. Okay, now for Terry. Um, well, I know Terry again, like Sorofagonax, is super as a super attack variant, so which is really good, but. It does have more technique than Sorofagonax, so I do feel like Terry does have more versatility. However, it doesn't pack as much of a punch as Sorofagonax does. But I think I think it's worthy of a high B. I think a high B for Terry. I think Terry's pretty good. Okay, Alpha Gorgosaurus. Well, you have the Poison type variant and you have the um, Tide type variant. Uh, I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna put it by here. I don't know, it doesn't seem to synergize well with with the fire moves as well as Alio Ramus and 
Albertosaurus does, so, but it does have the poison type, which is pretty good. But I, I think I think Gorgosaurus is C tier. Okay, Tarbosaurus. Now Tarbosaurus is an interesting one because I don't know much about it. Um, the problem with Tarbosaurus is it is crit the critical move is scissors, so it doesn't really synergize well. You can't really maximize moves like Burning Dash, Magma Blaster. Battle types aren't the greatest. I mean, Blitz type is okay. Is pretty is is good, pretty good, but Hunter type is kind of meh. And defense type is is still pretty good, but on a twelve hundred strength dino, defense type you know doesn't isn't as effective. So yeah, I'm gonna put it in low C. I don't think Tarbosaurus is amazing. Okay, Tyrannosaurus. The thing with T Rex is that if it feels like you have to put all your eggs in one basket in terms of its crypt. I mean, T Rex has two really good battle types in attack type and counter type, which are really good, and then it has hunter type, which are kind of meh. But yeah, T-Rex is going in A tier, but I don't, I would say it's not as good as Sorofagonax. I feel like Sorofagonax edges it out in terms of versatility, and overall Sorofagonax has a better attack. So I'd say T-Rex is under, below, below Sorofagonax. I think Sorofagonax is better. Okay, this is, I believe, Super Tarbosaurus. Okay, it's just, the fact, if it was normal Tarbosaurus, it'd just be going here, but the fact that it has the Awaken mode, I'm going to put it in oh high b i'm gonna say high b actually no i'm gonna say low a i mean it's a super dinosaur so it's still pretty good but i don't think it's that good okay now for another super dinosaur the super eocarcari well that's straight up s tier like this thing is insane it's is so versatile it has more attack total attack than a t-rex you know, I think it's, it may even have around the same total attack as a Sorofagonax. And it has way more technique. And, I, yeah, you, you can't really argue that against Super Eocarcari being STS. I'd probably say it's the best Super Dinosaur in the game, if I'm frank. Okay, Mapusaurus. Hmm. Um, Mapusaurus has quite balanced attacks, so in, you can use... Well, you can use any fire moves on these guys, but in terms of how effective those moves can be, that's, you know, I feel like Mapusaurus can use Burning Dash quite effectively, can use can use any of the fire moves effectively, except for Heat Eruption, Flare Sword, and Volk Burst. Of course, you, if you do use Volk Burst and, fl and um, Heat Eruption on Mapusaurus, you need, te you need Technique Boost in order to in order to maximize those moves more. So I think for that reason, I think Mapusaurus is B tier. I'd probably put it below Terry, to be honest. I think Terry is actually better. And I'd probably say in terms of the Goldfire dinosaurs, I'd probably say Mapusaurus is actually the worst. But that's not to say it's bad. It's still pretty good. But in terms of what the other Goldfire dinos can do, it's just not as good. Okay, speaking of more Goldfires, we have the Black T-Rex. Now, this one could be a con interesting one. I'm... If Black T-Rex had technique, I would probably put... Well, if it had a thousand technique, I would... It would be an S tier, 100%. Because it's death type, which is really, really good. Because it bas it basically has death fire. So you, that means you can put another move on to the scissors sign instead of death fire. And whereas death fire is usually technique based, Black T-Rex doesn't need to have technique to use death fire because of its death type. And Black T-Rex has really good attack as well. And I think overall it does have more attack than the T-Rex. And it may even have more attack than the Sorofagonax. So for that reason, Black T-Rex is really good. Now, here's where it falls short for me. Versatility. The fact that it has zero technique is such a huge hindrance. It lim It really does limit what you can use. I mean, it basically, say it basically means you can't use Heat Eruption. You can't use Vault Burst. You can't use Flare Sword. I know I did a video showing that you can use it, but you know, it's such a gamble at long odds. It's not worth it. But I'm going to put it in A tier. But I do think that the normal T-Rex is better. Because it does have the extra technique. So moves like Volk Burst Flit can actually be used and are better on the normal T-Rex than they are on Black T-Rex. Having said that though, yeah, I think Black... I, I might put Black T-Rex above T-Rex actually. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. 
Okay, Super Alio Ramus. Again, you know, based on the fact that it has less strength than the Super Tabasaurus. And when it's in Awaken mode, you know, technique doesn't really matter with these lower strength dinos because it's so high anyway, you're going to get the moves off. So, not much to say about Alio Ramus. I'd probably put it, i probably actually put it B tier. You know, I don't think it's a mid. I'd probably say it's the worst Super Fire Dino. Because again, you know, you have stuff like Super Tarbo, Super Raj, hell, even Super Torbo with tech that can get over a thousand technique. And it's like, once you exceed a thousand technique, those technique based moves pretty are pretty much maxed up at a thousand. So, yeah, I'd probably put Alio Ramus at high, high B. Okay, Kakirodontosaurus. Hmm. Now, Kakirodontosaurus does have versatility on his side. You know, the fact that his moves are balanced, and it has battle types like defense type, blitz type, counter type, and lethal type. Moves like counter type and lethal type, you can maximize Magma Blaster with this thing, especially with counter type. So you can either choose to have your Kakirodontosaurus attack base, or it can be more resilient using its defense type ver version. So I'd probably put Kakirodontosaurus in B tier. Mm, I don't know, just... I'd probably say just below Terry. I think Terry is slightly better. But yeah, Kakirodontosaurus, i put it uh, at a high B. High B, I think it is pretty good and pretty versatile as, what it, as to what it does. Okay, Acrocanthosaurus. Now, Acrocanthosaurus is an interesting one because it has 1,400 strength, 700 technique. Its move, its attacks are very balanced, except for the lethal type one, which buffs up its crit. And it has a defense type variant, like the Kaka. And, well, it doesn't have a... It has hunter type, which is not very good. And blitz type, which is, well, garbage in, if you're taking part in my tournaments. But, you know, other than that, in actual gameplays, can be pretty good. So, yeah, I put Acrocanthosaurus in B tier. I don't think I don't think it's as good as Mapusaurus because Mapusaurus does have a lot more oomph to it. You know, it, Mapusaurus has more balanced attacks, but it had but those attacks are stronger than the Acros. But I do think the Acro has more versatility than the Mapusaurus overall. So I'd say they're on par with each other. Okay, Metriacanthosaurus. Now Metriacanthosaurus has the same strength as Acro, but it does have less technique. However, Metric Amphosaurus does have slightly more attack. But on the balance of things, I'd probably say Metric Amphosaurus is a low B because I don't think it's as good as Acro. But what I will say is that Metric Amphosaurus does have really good battle types. It has Lucky 7 type, which means you can benefit more from the effects of technique based moves like Volk Burst, Flare Sword, Heat Eruption. And Metric Amphosaurus has decent technique already. Not the highest for a 1400 strength dino, but decent. And if you don't want to do that, you can use the blunder type one, where blunder type is pretty much one of the best battle types in the game. Where you could just randomly nullify an opponent's move, which is really, really good. So yeah, I'd probably put Metric Amphosaurus on par with Acro. Okay, Gygus. Hmm. Okay, Gygus is going into S tier. I mean, its attacks... The biggest weakness for Gygus is... Its attack is basically on par with Terry, or with a bronze dinosaur, and that really lets it down. Armoured Eocarcaria's attack is the same as the normal Eocarcaria, which is stronger than, than the gold rare dinosaurs. Gygus, you know, doesn't have that attack. Having said that, what it does have is versatility. You know, you can pretty much use any move on it, and it will work. And you can use any fire moves on it, and it, again, it will work. And... Its attacks are balanced and such, and it has pretty good battle types as well. The poison type, which is still, which is really good in battle type, and it has the spectral lancer. And unlike the the super di super Eocarcaria, it doesn't lose half its health when it's in awaken mode, and it can use the lan spectral lancer again. But I probably say in I pray yeah I put it above super Eocarcaria. I think. They are on par with each other. I wouldn't say one's better than the other, definitely. But I'd say that Gygus, you know, it, it is really, really good. Okay, now for the normal Eocarcaria. Okay, this one's going into A tier. A tier because, you know, it's it's tie recovery type, so it's not too bad for a battle type. But like the Sorophagonax, it 
it has very good versatility and its attack stats well its total attack is stronger than that of a t-rex and the eocar carrier does have slightly more technique so yeah i'm gonna put it it's on par with sorofaganax it's a really good dinosaur um where it fall where it probably falls short is the fact that it's crit is scissors and unlike the Sorofagnax, the Eocarcaria's crit doesn't do that much more damage than its other two moves. Of course, that's a good thing in a way, because it can then use Burning Dash Magma Blaster. So, despite this crit being scissors, it, it doesn't really matter in this case. It probably matters more with Sorofagnax, but as I said earlier with Sorofagnax, its, it's attack is so high that you just won't... All of its attacks pack a punch. <laughs> So yeah, Eocarcaria, a high A, on par with these other gold dinosaurs. Really, really good. Okay, Torvosaurus. Now, where Torvosaurus falls short for me is, as I just said, the fact that its crit is scissors. And, unlike Eocarcaria, its crit is does actually do a bit more damage than its other two moves. So, if you use moves like Burning Dash and Magma Blaster, you won't really maximise those attacks as well. So I'm probably going to put Torvosaurus into a low b because i don't think it's that amazing but it can be good in the right situation and it doesn't really have the battle types to back it up. i mean tie types okay so you can back it up with tie moves you can combo with like tie attack burning dash but again you can't maximize that burning dash because this crit is not paper whereas with something like if you use the tie attack burning dash combo on an acro, for example, you can maximize Burning Dash because acro's crit is paper. So I put Torvosaurus into a B tier. Okay, Terry Dinotector or Tyrannosaurus Dinotector. I'm including them as one dino because they're basically the same. Uh, I'm going to put it in S tier. Where... I'm going to put it in S tier. Where I think it falls short, like Gygus, it doesn't have that much attack. Its attack is exactly the same as Terry's. But it does have more health, more technique, and it does have the Dinotector. So it does have slightly more versatility than Terry. So yeah, Terry Dinotector A, S tier. Pretty, pretty strong Dino. I probably put it below Geiger because I do believe the Spectral Lancer does more damage than Ultimate Fire. And I probably put it below Omega, the Super Eocarcaria as well, for that reason. Okay, Rajasaurus. I'd probably say out of the 1400 strength dinosaurs, I'd probably say Rajasaurus is actually the worst. Like, even though it has more technique than the others, its battle types are not really that great. I mean, Hunter type is kind of meh. And Recovery type, I don't really know what Recovery type does, but from what I've seen of it, it seems pretty mediocre. So, And the fact that its critical move is Scissors as well, so it you can't really maximise Magma Blaster, Burning Dash... So yeah, Rad, you know, Rajasaurus really does fall short. And if you want to use Deathfire, you have to put it on its crit. So yeah, Rajasaurus really does fall short there. So ac actually, I put it in C tier, because I don't think it's that great at all. Okay, Giganonosaurus. Now, Giganonosaurus is a... You, you might not agree with... This might be an unpopular opinion, but I think Giganonosaurus is a low A. This is a This will be a controversial one, but there's always one controversial one. Giganonosaurus is a low A for me. I actually think it is the best 1400 strength fire dinosaur we have. Because it has a lot of versatility. You have the attack type one, which again is really, really good. And Giganonosaurus does have a good critical move in rock. Which means it can synergize really well with Magma Blaster. While saving paper and scissors for things like Death Fire, Volk Burst, Flare Sword. And hell, if you, you can even use Heat Eruption on it if you really wanted to, because it, it has pretty good technique, so Heat Eruption can activate. And it also has a Counter Type, and Magma Blaster activates after a loss, where, and Counter Type increases the damage you deal after you get hit. And a Counter Type Giga with Magma Blaster is deadly. And the fact that it has that high technique means that it's likely to get off Volk Burst and Flare Sword as well. Which means that in the right scenario, it could probably even one-shot a few things. Like, it is that good. And I'd probably say, out of all the normal dinosaurs, I'd say Giga is actually the best. Like, when I say normal dinosaurs, I mean dinosaurs with strength up to 1400. Not like bronzes, silvers, and golds. Because they are better. <laughs> but yeah, I'd probably say Giga is a very good. You know, the, the attack type, the counter type. It's a very strong fire dinosaur. And 
definitely, I'd say, the best 1400 strength dino in the game, and is a perfect template as to what a 1400 strength dino can do. I mean, Acro is still really good. I still say Acro is really good, but Giga is just much better. Okay, Abelosaurus. Now, Abelosaurus does have more attack than all the other bronze dinosaurs, but, you know, and it does have a rock critical move. However, where it falls short for me is its battle types and its lack, kind of lack of versatility. Because you can't really, you need, it doesn't have as much technique. And the fact that it's, you know, you can't, well, it can maximize Magma Blaster, you know, it doesn't have the attack type or the counter type or the other types that synergize well with it, like, like the Giga has. So I'm probably going to put it below Torvosaurus. I don't think it's that great of a bronze. But, you know, the one thing going for it is this is this crit is rock. Which actually, yeah. Mm, yeah, I think Torva would have a little bit better versatility. But yeah, I, th I think Abelosaurus is a low B. Okay, now for Super Torvosaurus. Uh, again, not, not much to explain here. I'll probably put it up here next because it does have more health than the, than the Atabo, more attack, and it pretty much has crosses the thousand technique barrier which means in a waker mode it can pretty much use anything so yeah that's t that's torvosaurus there okay the normal gigas um i'm gonna put it a oh that's a tough one i'm gonna put it above terry because i'm not sure but these two might actually have the same attack stats let, let me double check okay i'm gonna put it below terry i mean it has the poison type but the super attack type terry does have more attack than gigas However, Gigas's attacks are a little bit more balanced, so again, it does have the versatility, and you know they they're both pretty much the same and on par with each other. But for the fact that Terry does have more attack, if you use the super attack variant, I'm gonna put Terry higher than Gigas. I'm sure that'll make some people happy and some people not. Okay, Simotyrannus. Simotyrannus is an interesting one. It is the um, the English version is the charge type one, which again synergizes well with Burning Dash and Tie Attack combo. And the fact is, Simotyrannus doesn't seem to have a very powerful crit. This moves are quite well-rounded. So, for that matter, I'm probably going to put it above Rajasaur. A high C, a low B. Because it is pretty good. Actually, I'm going to put it into a low B. I think it deserves to be in a low B. You know, it is a pretty good dinosaur to use. And even though its, cr even though it's crit is not paper, it can still use Burning Dash quite well. Yeah, yeah, I think it's slightly... Yeah, I'm going to put it by here, actually. I don't think, again, if it, the tie attack, the tie burning dash comp... I'd probably, probably say our Bertosaurus would do it better. Yeah, that's, yeah, low, a high C low, a high C for um, Simon Tyrannus. Okay, Super Raj. Again, Super Raj is just going to go up into A tier. Not much to explain here. Crosses a thousand technique threshold. The thing with all these Super Fire dinosaurs is that all their crits are scissors as well. Except for T-Rex, which is paper. Oh, and Terry as well, which again, is paper. So yeah, not much to not much to go through here. Okay, Alpha Ragosaurus. Now, Alpha Ragosaurus, I believe, has the same attack stats as um, Abelosaurus. I'd say it has a better battle type, so it would, pre pre it would definitely go above Abelosaurus. However, where it does fall short is the fact there is Crit is Scissors. Which again, you know, Magma Blaster, Burning Dash is Rock and Paper, respectively. So it can't really maximize those two moves, but it can use Firebomb pretty well. Of course, if you're using a Fire Dinosaur, you probably would prefer to use Flare Sword or Death Fire. So, mm, I'd say Alpha Raj, I'd say... Mm, I'd probably say for his battle types, I'd say he's better than these two. But, you know, it's not that great. Um, okay, that's... That's Pletosaurus. Again, it has the same issue as some of these dinosaurs. The fact that it's crit is scissors. And it actually has quite a powerful crit as well. So I think this Pletosaurus would be a low B. And I'd probably put it on the fact that it does have more attack than these three. I'd say it's slightly better than these three. And it does have a defense type variant. So you can definitely play um, resilience with it. You can definitely be like a tanky dino with it. Whereas these three, you know, Torvosaurus is... You can't really do that with these three. So yeah, I'd say Daspiosaurus is a low B. Is a mid B, actually. Yeah, low mid B. Okay, you, my friend. Oh, super, speaking of Daspiosaurus, Super Daspiosaurus. 
Um, again, well, it just crosses the thousand threshold, so it's just going to go straight up here. I'd probably put it right here, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, and Taurosaurus as well, because they have the uh, attack power as well. So yeah, I think these two would just go up here. Okay, now for Omega Eocarcaria. This is an easy one. This is E tier. This, cut, this, this guy is just the trashiest trash in the game. It's just at the garbage. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, straight up S tier. I don't think I need to explain why. I mean, it has 2,000 strength, 1,000 te more technique than these other di armor dinosaurs. has more attack than them. It's Omega Phoenix does more damage. It's more versatile. Not much to say, to be honest. Okay, Yangchungosaurus. Now, Yangchungosaurus is a critical move is paper. And it has a charge type variant. So, I'd probably say Yangchungosaurus has really good versatility. So, I'm going to put it in hmm i want to put it up by here because again it has i believe it has the same total attack as geigers and terry but it does have two good battle types um i'm gonna put it by here i think in terms of versatility yang chongosaurus is really good because it has defense type and a charge type variant so you can be super resilient with it super tanky with it or you can try and use the tire attack burning dash combo which i like so much or combo it with heat eruption because it has decent technique as well so heat eruption you know you can use heat eruption so yeah yang chung Swords is pretty good and it has balanced moves the one thing that probably lets it down is the fact that his crit doesn't do an insane amount of damage but again you know it kind of makes it more versatile okay alpha acrocamphosaurus um i'm gonna put it in high a i'm actually gonna put it by i'm gonna put it by here you know, it, it's poison type, which is really good. But, you know, it, it's it's a much more balanced dinosaur. Uh, I, I, um, yeah, I'm going to put it by there. I don't think it's as good as Black T-Rex. I think Black T-Rex is slightly better. But I do think, in terms of versatility, Alpha Acrocamphosaurus, I'd probably say, is better than T-Rex. Or I'd probably say it's on par with a T-Rex, I'd say. I wouldn't say... You know, I'd say it's more on par. Oh, we're, oh my God, we're almost done. <laughs> Okay, now for Super T-Rex. Well, Super T-Rex is, other than Super Eocarcaria, the best Super Dinosaur. And I'm going to put it r right up here. It could easily go into S tier. It's, it packs such a punch. It, it does, it hits like a truck. And it, it could probably one-shot a lot of things if in Awaken mode. It could one-shot pretty much anything with its critical move. So yeah, Super T-Rex up into A tier. And it has... And it will have decent enough, slightly decent enough technique where it can use moves like Flare Sword, Vault Burst maybe. But yeah, it, well it has to be better than the normal T-Rex because frankly it is. Okay, now for Gorgosaurus. Gorgosaurus is an interesting one because it seems to synergize, again, it's one of those dinosaurs that synergizes really well with Burning Dash because it has a tie type variant and a charge type variant. And it even, well, and you can even use it on Magma Blaster because it has a counter type as well. So I'd say I don't, I'd say Gorgosaurus. I would put it in the high C though. I don't think it's that amazing, but you know it's certainly not the worst. Okay, now for Super Terry. Super Terry, you know, again, it's got it's going to be on par with these guys. I probably put it. I probably put it right next to the normal T Rex to be honest, because it does. Yeah, I'm going to put it by here. I think Das does Das Plesiosaurus does edge it out a bit because it has. You know, the technique, once it crosses a thousand technique, you know, it's kind of irrelevant. You're going to get the move off. But why Eocarcaria is in S tier is because it has a thousand, one thousand base technique, which means it doesn't need Awaken mode, whereas these other Super Dinos do. Um, yeah, and just having a quick look at the tier list. Okay, S tier is fine. Like, I, you can't argue with these four. These four are the best. A tier, is there anything I want to change? Like the, the big, the probably the biggest controversy in A tier is the Giga, <laughs> but I honestly do think is that good. Um, Alio Ramus, yeah, Alio Ramus, you know, even in it has a thousand base technique, but unlike the Super Eocarcaria, it has only a thousand strength. If it had two, if it had two thousand strength, it'd be in S tier, it'd be on par with the Eocarcaria, but it doesn't, so it does fall short in that department. Hmm. I'm just having to think. So according to this, I'd probably say the worst gold is Mapusaurus. Because I don't... While its moves are quite balanced, its technique is relatively low. And 
you know, it can't really... It doesn't pack the punch that a T-Rex does, or a Sorophaganax, or hell, even an Eocarcaria. And well, Eocarcaria is just straight up better because it has more technique, it has the same strength, and it has more attack. Okay, yeah, that's that's going to be it. That's going to be my tier list. So, I hope you enjoyed. I mean, I'm sure you will enjoy because you all wanted this. If you did, please leave a comment down below. What would you make different? What, what do you think you would... What would your tier list look like? Pop a, pop, pop, pop a comment down below. We'll see. I mean, at the end of the day, this is my opinion, you know. Of course, some pe uh, people are going to have their tier lists different. But this is basically my opinion. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. And what tier list would, would you want me to do nef next? Would you want me to do water dinosaurs? Or perhaps lightning dinosaurs? But anyway, until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.